head uh, back over to Dr. Greg Forbes for more on uh, some of the tornado warnings that are out there now. Yeah, well, actually, I was going to cover the severe thunderstorm warning that we may get a tornado warning for. We heard them talk about Elgin or Elgin. Uh, that's where the tornado hunt vehicle is located, right in the hook of what is now becoming more and more well-defined hook echo with a possible tornado that could be a little bit rain wrapped right near that green triangle. So I'd be very much on the lookout <coughs> south and east of Elgin or Elgin near the Sterling area and then over toward the Rush Springs area. This storm seems to be intensifying quite a bit and I'll take a look at the velocities here. Uh, there is probably uh, one of the stronger signatures that we've seen today with the greens going westbound, the reds going eastbound. Right at that location, a tornado vortex signature seems to be intensifying. At this point, I am not seeing any blue there that indicates there's debris in the air. And one more a new scan now has come in that maybe once again the rain is uh, overtaking this. But we certainly need to keep monitoring that storm there in uh, Comanche County. Back to you. All right, Dr. Forbes, thanks so much. Again, uh, so many different perspectives on this from the people that are on the ground right now, the chasers, uh, including our own Mike Bettis to Dr. Forbes, of course, being able to analyze things in very, very fine detail. Right, and we've been able to watch things from the sky as well. Here's one of the camera views that have been coming in to us from the Lawton, Oklahoma area. You can see some of the clouds out there. Obviously, this is a different picture than where Mike Bettis and crew are, where they are very close to that Elgin area, where the skies are just about pitch black. A few more of those clouds working through the Lawton area. So maybe some parts of the city actually beginning to see a little bit of clearing. Probably on the uh, western or southern side, you're beginning to see a little bit of a break. But as we just heard from Tony, one of the storm chasers, there's more storms off towards the south and west. I know, and some of these may even look a little more dramatic as we get that really low sun angle. Of course, not too far away from sunset across the area, and of course, where the rain is really heavy.